Mr. President, highly distinguished colleagues, I remain Senator I.D. Gyan. I'm from Plateau North. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to contribute to the debate on this very important bill that seeks to give effect to Section 219 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, and to commend the Minority Leader for coming up with this very bill that seeks to activate a provision of the Constitution as it reflects and concerns the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The presentation which is anchored on Section 219 of the Constitution, Mr. President, that is a section that empowers the National Assembly to establish a body that and that body, the Constitution has not given it a name. Rather, the Constitution has given those powers and discretion to the National Assembly to define and determine and recommend and legislate on what the name should be. And that name, as recommended, by the sponsor of the bill is an Armed Forces Service Commission. Uh, the name proposed by the bill therefore does not offend the Constitution. It does not offend the Constitution. The body has established and as will be legislated by this very hollow chambers, has its functions cut out very clearly in that section 219 of the Constitution, and that is to ensure that the composition of the armed forces of the Federation reflect the federal character of Nigeria compliant to section 219 which is the federal character provision. And like the sponsor has said, this commission would go a very long way to address certain concerns and also to strengthen the unity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria without compromising fed, uh, uh, professionalism competence and excellence, believe very strongly that the federal character principle is to strengthen the unity of Nigeria. And to that extent, I support the, that this bill uh, should find the support of members of this hallowed chamber, and I therefore support this bill in its entirety. Thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues. Senator, distinguished colleagues, um, Boacha Emmanuel, I represent Araba South. Mr. President, in my own humble opinion, rather than politicizing this bill, I want to encourage our colleagues to understand the character and content of this bill. It's simply waking us up from sleep to do our job. That is how it is as it is as I stand in now, because it is urging us, giving effect to a constitutional provision that grants us the power to establish a commission to oversee the armed forces. And there are existing commission on ground. In fact, let me emphasize, Mr. President, it will strengthen the bond of unity of our country, rather than creating disunity, contrary to what 
my uh, respected colleague said, it is in our own interest if we we'll give it effect of existence. But Mr. President, let me add that the six geopolitical zones can even be thrown away in establishing this commission. We mustn't necessarily adhere to it. It is not the main focus of the bill. The bill is to have a commission that will oversight the armed forces, just as we have in the police. The police is not being politicized. There is a police commission that oversights the police. And in any case, in any case, it does not even temper with the powers of the president to appoint a service chief. No, because the book ends on the president's table. So let us not try to politicize anything that is good for the interests of the country. The book ends on the president's table. If he has a commission that nominates people he doesn't like, the president can reject it. He has that power. So let us not make everything, let us not politicize everything. This is my humble uh, submission, Mr. President. And I support this bill until it gets to the, 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 the public hearing. The basic details, the basic details can be examined. And areas we agree, we agree. Those we don't agree, we destroy them, we throw them away. So let us not be, you know, creating problems where there are none. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Chukuka Otaze. I represent the good people of Enugu North, Central District of Enugu State. Mr. President, the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is an institution for distinguished, eminent, respectable individuals. The Senate of the Federal Republic, as an arm of government, people, people with the people I have just, this type of people I have just mentioned here, should rise above board in looking at issues of national importance. Mr. President, the issue before all of us here is a purely legislative matter that is presented in the parliament for us to give effect to the 1999 constitution as amended. And the express provisions of the constitutions are, on, are, are, are not um, ambiguous. They are very, very straightforward. Mr. President, it pains my heart that when people want to import other negativities into an issue that is straightforward. That detracts for our duty as the upper chamber of the National Assembly of, this, uh, of, the, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, I, I don't want to go and repeat Section 217 and 21, uh, 219, but I want to say that the essence of whatever we are doing here, the Federal Character Principle, as enunciated and encapsulated in the 1999 Constitution, is to respect the diversity of this country. It will make sure that things work. We have a commission, so we have had commissions before. This commission is not going to be different from other commissions. They are going to still perform their duties as other commissions like we have a police service commission. Mr. President, in order to make, uh, bring home this issue, I want to refer us to section 14, which my friend Olori uh, 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 alluded to in person. And, uh, 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 and I want to also give meaning to it. And that is for, uh, the section 14, I want to read from uh, 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 subsection 3. Composition of the government of the federation or any of its agencies and the conduct of its affairs shall be carried out in such manner as to reflect the, uh, to reflect the federal character of Nigeria and the need to promote national unity and also 
command national loyalty, thereby ensuring that there shall be no predominance of persons from a few states or from a few ethnic or other sectional groups in, the, in, the, in that government or any of its agencies. And I want to also go to section, uh, subsection 4 of section 14. The composition of, of the government of a state or a local government, a local government council, or any of its agencies of such government or council, and the conduct of the affairs of the government or council or such agencies shall be carried out in such a manner as to recognize the diversity of the people within its area of authority and the need to promote a sense of belonging and loyalty among the peoples of the Federation. Mr. President, if you take this with the section 217 and 219 here, you can say that this is a harmless a uh, uh, harmless uh, 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 bill that has been proposed here for us to give a, co uh, to give a concession. We have to, if you want the loyalty of Nigerians, of all sections of the country, you have to give vent to it. Part of it is having the commission. And if the commission is there, it's going to help to make ensure that there is a, that, there is a, that everybody is represented in every part of the country. Well, nobody is saying this. Today, somebody will be a president of the Federal Republic from one, age, uh, one, one geopolitical zone. Tomorrow, it can be another. What we are saying is something that is constant for all of us, something, something that is constant for, for everybody. It's not a question of anybody now saying, because you are here, you are saying this. And again, Mr. President, it's very, very important, and Jamin here, that uh, my colleague, whom I respect so much, Senator. <laughs> Abdullah, Abdullahi Buhari. Uh, the sandwich, uh, 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 no, 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 before you say so, please address, if you have to call the name of any senator, call him his proper name. We have no Abdullah Buhari in this, in this chamber. We have Abdullah Adamu in case you want me to remind you. Thank you. My friend, the one who shares such names here. Mr. President, what I want to say is say, why now? The question of why now is that we are legislators. This is our time. Any time a member of the National Assembly thinks anything fit that, is com that, we, uh, uh, that we engage the sensibilities and attention of the parliament, that is the time. This is the time we have here. So we can listen on anything, Mr. President. I want to say, please, let us, gentlemen here, let us be, uh, uh, let us be who, what we are, that we are distinguished members of the National Assembly. Let us allow our bill to go for the second reading. If anybody... You, you can round up now, please. But don't kill it. President of Senate, my colleagues, distinguished senators, James Biowo, manager, CEO, and Delta South. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, I want to tell the line of thinking and reasoning of the Senate leader and the Deputy Senate President. Mr. President, this bill is just calling us on us to do what we ought to have done a long time ago. Uh, so I see it on the surface as it appears. I see it to be harmless. It's a constitutional provision, 219 of the amended constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And looking at the bill itself, Mr. President, <laughs> This bill is about one, more than one year old in this system. The bill is more than one year old. Yes, it's just coming for second reading today. So, Mr. President, it is not about what is happening today. It is about what we ought to have done long time ago. And 
Mr. President, as far as I'm concerned, it is uh, our responsibility to look at issues that are before us. And that is why we come here to sit every day, at least three times a week. Mr. President, just like I said, the, under your presidency in this Senate, there is what we now see as a style, which is good. Bills come here, if they have to die, they have to die after the second reading. That is the system that I have seen. And this particular bill is important. The details will come out. If the details come out and the bill is not good enough for Nigeria, the experts, let us not feel that we have a reservoir of knowledge. We will invite people for public hearing. Those who will come for public hearing will also advise us whether this bill is good or not good. So at the end of the day, the report will be presented. And when the report is presented, we will go for clause by clause reading. A particular clause that is not good enough for this country will be taken out. Mr. President, there is nothing wrong with this bill. And I want to say that we are unnecessarily politicizing this bill. It's a harmless bill, and let's see it at that. Thank you, Mr. President. Distinguished colleagues. I'm following it. Any senator may challenge the opinion of the president or the chairman by claiming a division. You have a right to vote. So, Mr. President, I claim a division and I want us to vote one after the other. <coughs> Being in this scene since 2007, and any time anybody comes up to claim a division, that division is voted upon. Mr. President, I'm not saying that you did right or wrong. I'm only saying, give me my right. And my right is that I'm saying that all our members here ought to get up and vote for this. My, minority Leader. Minority Leader. Minority Leader, D DSP, 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 you raise your hand. I'm not going to point out what you already said. The essence of, of uh, uh, Order 73 is to challenge the opinion of Mr. President or the Chair. The power you just exercise is not an opinion. And therefore, not subject to Order 73. The I so move. Senator Jones, manager. Mr. President, my idea is very colleagues. Mr. President, Mr. President, we have had senators challenging the opinion of Senate presidents in the past. The ruling. the ruling of the president of the Senate. 73 is very clear on that. Mr. President, Mr. President, this is parliament, and this parliament is about 20 something years old. Mr. President, you have been here since the National Assembly, this present National Assembly, in 1999, from the House of Reps to the, 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 the Senate. It is very clear. Even if we vote and it's voted out, there's no problem there. It's, this is democracy in action. Precisely. It's democracy in action. Where it will go, it will vindicate you. Not your own opinion now. Your opinion is being challenged. And your, once your opinion is being challenged, you allow the practice to take place. And I sincerely believe that to wriggle yourself out of this, you allow a division to take place for people to now vote. 
That is my humble view. From the way you root, and from the nerves and the years, it is very clear. But don't allow this to go down as if you have refused to allow division to take place here. That is my humble view. It's a humble advice, Mr. President. Old man, not by my age, but I am fairly old here. Divisions have taken place here, and most times it has not gone against the ruling, the ruling of the presiding officers. So let this be one of those ones, Mr. President, in my humble view. Thank you, Mr. I'm, I'm not sure.